Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about using external microphones with the uh, Femi Pam 2 Pocket Gimbal. Just a few notes about it. And what I want to do in this video is show a uh, sort of workaround, if you will, to try to get proper levels without having to do all this kind of fixing in post-production. Just one caveat, I'm learning video. I'm uh, not trying to present myself as a professional videographer. As I learn and as I figure things out, I post them on YouTube just in case it helps other people who are also trying to improve their uh, video production. So the Femi Pam 2 is uh, you know, essentially a carbon copy of the DJI Osmo Pocket or Pocket 2. Probably fair to say in most respects, it's not as good, but there are people who actually like it. I went for it because it was a bit uh, cheaper and easier to just kind of play around with. Um, now regarding collecting audio, so there is an audio jack here on the back of 3.5 mil. If you ask me my opinion, it's placement just below the lens is very problematic. Why would you want to use an external microphone? Well, as in general, whether you're talking about camcorders or DSLRs or pocket gimbals, the internal microphone is generally gonna be less good than an external microphone. A second problem is that the internal microphone on the uh, Femi is located to the best of my knowledge, this little pin here, which means that if I'm gonna turn this guy on for a second, if I was shooting an interview and I had my Femi Pam 2 like this and it's facing outwards, I have my monitor joystick and my uh, record button here, but the audio collection is gonna be from this side. If I wanna get audio from the subject side. So that's why using the external microphone is useful, both improving quality and being able to determine what field you're capturing audio from. If I turn a shotgun or a directional microphone this way, I'm getting audio here, I can turn it this way, but if I've only got one microphone on the front, I'm very limited. The best I can kind of do as a workaround is to uh, pop this guy into selfie mode, and now the microphone is gonna be on the same side as the field we're shooting in, but that doesn't work so well if you're trying to do an interview, you could kind of hold it towards your subject like this, but it, it's, it's not ideal. Um, one other limitation on the Femi Pam 2 is that it does not have, when you connect a microphone, you do get a mic connected sign, but it doesn't have a decent level meter. And when you don't have a decent level meter, you're kind of flying blind in terms of what the levels are, what the audio quality. I frequently, when I've been playing around, recorded with an external microphone, uh, then popped out the SD card and realized that my clips were unusable because the levels were not working right. So when you don't have a level meter or even for that matter, a monitoring function, there isn't a headphones out. It's very difficult to uh, make sure that you're gonna, you're gonna, if you're doing something like an interview that you don't wanna reshoot, that you're getting good audio the first time. So one workaround that's come to my mind is to use the trusty Zoom H1N field recorder. The beauty of the Zoom H1N is that it gives you a lot of options you can record while you're passing audio through. So there's a line out here and there's a, on this side and there's a line in on this side. So what this means is that you can connect a microphone into the line in, whether that's a lav mic or even the receiver on a wireless microphone or a shotgun microphone or whatever the case may be. The Zoom H1N is only 3.5. There's no XLR jacks on this particular device. Um, and then you can pass it through into the camcorder or into a pocket gimbal. And what that means, and because it's got line out, you can monitor as you do that. So you can actually put on some headphones, listen, uh, see that the audio is sounding good, and then know that what you're popping out to the next device is gonna be good. Uh, you're also gonna be using the preamps built into the Zoom H1N and not relying on the likely uh, much inferior ones in the actual device itself. And there's a final reason uh, that you, you've got very uh, granular level control. You're gonna have a good level meter here and there's a gain trim here. So basically the workflow that I'm suggesting is using a external microphone, use a, I've only got two hands unfortunately, running that through the Zoom H1N and then going from the Zoom H1N into the uh, pocket gimbal. Now I'm gonna put this guy um, on, a tr on another one of these Ulanzi uh, tripod thing so that's a little bit easier to demonstrate this for this camera. So here's my uh, zoom, here's my pocket gimbal here. So I'm just gonna keep that like this. Um, now, for monitoring, you're going to want either a, uh, some kind of a pair of headphones. I do use these uh, Ars Technica, um, Audio Technica headphones that I find really, really good. They are the product name is probably written somewhere in size here. 
um, I'm using whatever I'll put it I'll put it in the video description but these are super good um, and so I'm just gonna pop these on in a second actually and what I'll do firstly is I'm gonna just power on my external microphone so let's say I'm using this uh, comic a trap shot microphone now this is a little bit complicated because it's got a gain meter so there's gonna be a gain control on this guy and then again on the uh, on the Zoom H1N before finally patching it through. Um, if you have a microphone that doesn't have a gain level and you've only got one to work about, but I'm just gonna keep the gain on this guy at about, uh, let's say five, four actually. I'm just looking at the level meter there and trying to see somewhere that it's not clipping on. So that's powered on. And let's say this is the external microphone you want to use. So now I'm going to turn on my Zoom H1N. And I'm going to connect my microphone into the line in. That's the red 3.5 mil jack. The other one is line out. That's color coded green. So it's very easy. So I'm going to go line in now. And now my Zoom H1N is acting as a recorder to this microphone. But not only can it record, it can pass through if I use a 3.5 mil patch cable to go from there to this. Now, one really cool thing about the Zoom H1N is that you can not only... Um, you can not only record, you can actually, um, you can record to the SD card as you do that patch through thing. So for instance, um, I can be recording for syncing up in post as I put it through to the camcorder. So the final thing we're gonna need in the setup, and yes, this is gonna be a tiny bit more work than just popping this guy out to shoot an interview, but you might end up with substantially better sound quality. So I'm using a patch cable, in other words, a 3.5 mil male to male cable. It's got a male connection on each side. Now here's why I've got this guy on the tripod. I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna turn this guy on. And then once it's got a microphone, we should get a mic connected um, indicator here. It's not currently showing because there's no live microphone on the other side. So let's just keep this here for the moment. And now we're gonna go line out on the Zoom H1N. And now we have that microphone symbol has appeared on the Femi. So to the best of, I, to the best of my abilities here, what I'm going to do is uh, monitor the audio coming from this side. And I'm just gonna put these guys on for a second. So now I can monitor. So now I'm hearing the actual feed. So here's what we have going on. There's the um, Comic Attract Shot microphone. I'm actually using the onboard monitoring feature um, on this, which not all microphones have. Um, now, you could monitor from the Zoom H1N, I believe, if you used a Y splitter from the line out because you're going to you're gonna want one of those lines uh, to go out to the Femi and you want another one to go out to your monitoring headphones. And this is the ultimate setup I have. And then this line out is passing into the Femi. So just to uh, kind of re-explain what I'm doing here one more time, microphone passing it through the Zoom H1N. I can hit the record button. Um, and grab and I can also look at those levels. So those levels are actually a little bit high and now as I speak I've got the Zoom H1N set to 6.5 there about no six on the game train and I can see that I'm getting peaks at about the minus six dB level and that's going out into this. So now basically the advantage of just simply connecting uh, you know this microphone straight into the Femi Pam 2 is I can see what the levels are like as I'm speaking, as I'm listening to somebody, and I'm not gonna be in for some unpleasant surprises, hopefully, uh, by the time it comes to post-production and finding out that the audio I captured from an external microphone was just completely useless. Uh, this uh, hopefully eliminates that possibility. I've done a couple of test recordings with it and uh, seemed pretty good. In other words, the levels that I, were, that I was getting from the Zoom H1N were pretty much well reflected in the audio as it captures, captured out of this. Hope this video was useful. Uh, if you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.